Hello friends, in the last few videos we have seen how to analyze uniform circular motion using Newton's second law. In all those cases there was no friction present and that's why it was easy to write equation of motion and we can easily solve those equations for the unknown. Now in this video we will introduce friction in uniform circular motion and we will see how to analyze such kind of situation. So the topic of this session is rounding a flat curve and this we will illustrate using a problem. So the problem says the sport car is rounding a flat unbanked curve with radius r as shown in the figure. So we have a sport car and this sport car is rounding a curve and this curve is a flat curve, horizontal curve. Also this is given this is unbanked. So there is no banking for this curve. This means there is no sloping towards the outer radius of the curve. So this is a flat curve, no banking. Question further says, if the coefficient of a static friction between tires and the road is mu s, as I said earlier, this is a problem in which friction coefficient is present, friction is present and the coefficient of friction is given that is mu s. So between this a sport car and between this road basically a uh, tire of the sport car and this road there is a friction and this friction is has a coefficient of mu s. Now question asks what is the maximum speed at which the driver can take the curve without sliding. So we have to find the maximum speed so that this driver can take a turn without any kind of sliding. So we have to prevent the sliding and then we have to find the maximum velocity by which this driver can take a turn. So what are the things that is given? So we have been given radius of this curve or we have been given friction coefficient and this time this is a static coefficient of friction mu s. We have been also given there is no slipping or no sliding. So no sliding in this case. And we have to find maximum velocity that is my target variable. So how will you solve this problem? If you remember in case of uniform circular motion there is an important concept and that is acceleration in the radial direction this is equals to v square divided by r. So we have to maximize this velocity. So if I want to maximize the velocity, this means I have to also maximize the acceleration because acceleration in the radial direction is directly related to the velocity. This means if I say I want to maximize velocity, this means basically I am maximizing the acceleration. And if you remember acceleration is related to force, force is equals to mass times acceleration. So we can write force in the radial direction is equals to mass times acceleration in the radial direction. So if acceleration is maximum then at the same time the force in the radial direction will be maximum. So when I say radial direction this means towards the center. So in this case this is the center. So force towards the center will be maximum. And the question comes from where this force will come. Of course in this case this force will come from friction. And since there is no sliding towards the center or towards the outside of this curve. So this car is neither sliding this side nor sliding this side. This means there is no sliding this means there is a friction and this friction is a static in nature. So we will have a static friction because this is a no sliding case. So this is a, a static friction case. So we will have a static friction in this case. What will be the magnitude of this static friction? If you remember friction force is given as a static friction this can be less than or equal to mu s times normal reaction. This is the friction force. So maximum friction force if it is a static in nature it will be mu s times n where n is the normal reaction. Now you see in this problem we have to find v maximum. This means I want maximum force and this force is provided by friction. This means I am interested in 
maximum friction force this means i can say maximum force or frictional force in this case will be mu s times n so in this case force will be simply equal to mu s times n and this will be a static in nature now let us try to solve this problem so we have to use newton's second law but before that we have to draw the free body diagram of this car so this is a sport car i can show something like this as a point object and there is a weight that is acting in the downward direction mz and normal reaction is acting in the upward direction and this is moving in this circle so center of circle is somewhere here so as i said earlier the friction force will try to or try to resist the sliding what will happen this car has a tendency to slide in the outward direction so the friction force will act in the inward direction towards the radius towards the center so there is a friction force and that is acting in this direction and the magnitude is fs which is equals to mu s times n you can think the direction of friction force in different way also because this car is moving in a circle or making a turn in a circle this means there has to be some force towards the center because this has acceleration towards the center and the magnitude of that acceleration is v square by r so this means there has to be a force in the radial direction and that force will come only from the friction so there is a friction between tire and so this is the tire and road so there has to be a friction that come between tire and the road and this has to be in inward direction because this is moving in circle so it has acceleration towards the center then there should be a force that is towards the center and that force will come only from the friction because in this case there is no force that is acting in the horizontal plane towards the center so from there we can basically say this friction force is acting towards the center of the circle now once i have the free body diagram we can write equation of motion so let us say this is my y axis so this is my y axis and this is my x axis so this is my x axis so this is my y axis and this is my x axis so x axis is in the radial direction so let us write equation of motion we can write let us first write in the x direction summation of forces in the x direction is equals to mass into acceleration in the x direction in this case force in the x direction is fs which is equals to mu s times n and this is equals to mass times acceleration if you have radial direction in this case x direction v square divided by r is the acceleration so this is my equation number 1 we can similarly write force in the y direction and that is equals to normal reaction in the upward direction mg in the downward direction that's why we have a negative sign and there is no acceleration in the y direction this means this is equals to 0 so from here i have n is equals to mg that is my second equation now i can use second equation and plug the value in equation 1 so from equation 1 i can write so from equation 1 i can write mu s times n and n is nothing but mz and this is equals to m v square divided by r from here m cancels out so i can write mu s z is equals to v square divided by r so here i can further simplify v is equals to mu s r z and then i have to take a root and this velocity will be maximum velocity because the force in the radial direction is maximum that is the maximum static friction force mu s times n so maximum velocity we will have that is maximum velocity is simply a square root of mu s r z so this is the maximum velocity that we will get for example let us take some numerical value if i take mu s is equals to 0.96 
and r is equals to 230 meter then i can calculate maximum velocity using this formula so v maximum will be a square root 0 0.96 that is coefficient of friction and radius is given that is 230 meter and g we know that is 9.8 meter per second square so if you calculate in this case this will come 47 meter per second so you see for a radius of 230 meter and mu s is equals to 0.96 we have a maximum velocity of 47 meter per second so this means if you have a curve of 230 meter you can up you can go up to 47 meter per second this means around 50 meter per second now we calculated the maximum velocity but my car can go basically different velocity also there is a possibility of different velocity for a car basically in this case there are two situations in the first case what we can have we can have for example if my velocity the car velocity is less than the maximum velocity and maximum velocity is this one so in this case what will happen so the car velocity is less than the maximum velocity in that case i can say the friction force will be less than the maximum friction force that is mu s times n and n is nothing but mz this means friction force is not 100 percent utilized it can still apply some more friction this means if i have a velocity that is less than the maximum velocity my car can safely make a turn there is no problem if you have a velocity that is less than the maximum velocity and maximum velocity is a square root mu s r z if you have a less than that velocity you can safely turn that that makes sense also you might have experienced this so whenever you are turning your car or you are sitting in the car somebody else is turning you might have felt that if it is going with a smaller velocity the car can easily make the turn what about the second situation the second situation can be if your velocity the car velocity is greater than the maximum velocity that can be possible for that car for a given friction and given radius of uh, curve so the radius for that curve is given and friction coefficient is given and if your velocity that is greater than the maximum possible speed what will happen in that case so you see in this case friction is not sufficient you will have only you will have a friction that is only mu s times mz so friction is not sufficient to slip to restrict the slipping so in this case car will basically skid in the outer side of the periphery of the curve so in this case i can say a skidding will happen so the car will skid to prevent the skidding there is only one possibility or you can say two possibility you can either increase mu s or you can increase r so you see b s is equals to a square root of mu s r z if you want to restrict the skidding in that case you can either increase mu s or you can increase radius of the curve so that your design v will be larger and it will be uh, in that case you will not have any kind of a skidding so this is one possibility by which you can restrict or you can limit the skidding another possibility is banking so you can also bank the curve in that case you will restrict the skidding but that we'll discuss in the next video what will happen if mu s is a smaller for example if you have a rainy season in that case your mu s when value can be a smaller so in that case your maximum velocity will be a smaller so and that's happened in the rainy season your car or your curve has been designed for a maximum velocity but in the rainy season basically coefficient of friction decreases mu s value decreases and that's why you cannot make the turn with a designed maximum velocity so you have to lower the velocity because mu s has decreased and that's why sometime in those curve generally it has been written that you can 
go up to this certain limit of the velocity that is the designer speed maximum velocity can be different but the designer velocity can be different because you have to reduce the maximum velocity by a factor so that there is no accident so design velocity for example it's coming 100 meter per second then you can reduce and you can say you can maximum go up to 60 meter per second this means in those cases you are basically allowed even though there are some kind of raining in that case mu s value will decrease but still you are only allowed up to 60 meter per second so i hope you got the idea of uniform circular motion and when you analyze in case of friction if you like this video Please share with your friends and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.